push it as it stands right now, will only increase food prices, and I assume you mean globally, by half a percentage point. But this number obviously depends on how long this situation persists, yes? Exactly. So one million metric tons increased 0.5 percent on world food market prices. Uh, but again, it will depend, especially uh, the most important thing is the new harvest coming out of Ukraine uh, and how much that will slow down the process. But again, it's important to understand that if we have a concern today, it's of food access, so capacity of countries to buy food. is not of food availability, despite of the Black Sea initiative. Maximo, so this has been, the grain deal has been hailed as a triumph of di diplomacy. This is an internationally brokered deal. So does Russia have any legal right to really suspend its participation? And can Russia be legally compelled through the framework to uh, participate and reactivate uh, the deal? Look, I, I, this is an initiative that is being negotiated by the Secretary General, so I don't want to get into the legal yes. issues because that's not our expertise. Uh, our expertise is on the, on the numbers and the availability of grain uh, right now, and that's basically what I am referring to. I understand. Uh, as I understand today, uh, the discussions with all the parties are already going on, uh, and I hope this will lead to, again, to a, a renewal of, of this agreement and to continue the mobility of vessels. Even inspections continue to go on at this point.